Hi everyone. Today we're having in a Hyundai AX20 and the customer complaint is battery light being on, which we just confirmed that it is. And um, uh, we're gonna have a look into this issue. I did the scan on the on the fault and I can see there I've got a history fault of battery voltage low and also got a lost communication with generator control module and I've just plugged this um, little socket adapter in there which is gonna check my voltage and you can see the alternator is still charging 14.2 volts and since there's no communication going on uh, full charging power so let's pull up a wiring diagram and let's have a look on how this uh, generator is connected and what other components are on the same communication line, if there is. And let's go from there. And here is the wire diagram. And this is our alternator there. And you can see this is the communication line, the yellow wire, which goes into the ECM on pin 78 and goes to the battery sensor there. So we need to check the communication on this line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the communication line and the signal on pin 78 straight to ECM and also in the, with the other channel, my scope on pin 1 on the alternator. So I have hooked my oh, channel, channel A in, uh, in the ECM uh, on pin 78, which is a yellow wire. And this is what I'm getting on the scope, let me turn off the light for you, there we go, so this signal looks perfect for me, it is a proper uh, LIN bus communication signal, so um, let's plug the channel B in the alternator and let's see how that looks like. We have uh, put our second probe right into the connector there, in the alternator, and now let me show you what my scope sees. So I would respect the red line, which is our channel B, which is the reading straight from the alternator to be identical with what the ECM is seeing. So that tells me we've got somewhere an excessive resistance. So now I've just disconnected the alternator to show this. You can see again, we've got a very low voltage there instead of being 12 volts. So that's resistance somewhere along the wire. So um, we're gonna now gonna have to strip and follow the wires and see where the fault is. Following my wiring diagram, I, I'm gonna back probe in uh, this joint connector there. And uh, I just did that and look what I've got. I've moved this signal a bit down because you couldn't see because you're absolutely perfect. So I've just probably coming from the ECM. Now I'm gonna test the other side of the connector. Here is the other side of the connector connected there. And you can see our signal is still good. So now our problem is going to be from this point there, somewhere else in there. Alright, so I have removed the battery every around so I can follow the wiring loom. Put my multimeter on, on resistance from ECM all the way to the alternator. And then I start wiggling the wires. I start with this one there. I know from this and here it's alright, it's somewhere around this going. So watch my multimeter now, so you can see when I'm moving this to the resistance. And if you look closely in there, you can see the rub. A little bit closer. There you go. You can see it there. It's all rubbing against this plastic. So this is our issue. So we're gonna take this out. We're gonna strip it and see if we'll have a better look. Okay, so I just flip the wire up. And you can see in the, the yellow wire, that's alternator wire, you can see that it's corroded all the way through. There we go. So now we need to So I stripped this apart and you can see the, this one is just broken. This is just the black wire, you have a little bit of insulation damage, that's it. So I'm gonna add a bit more insulation on that. I'm gonna strip this, I'm gonna put another wire there, I'm gonna make a big chunk of insulation there to avoid such a problem. Okay, so. The way I like to repair these kind of things, so I found a nearly a wire because I like to keep the colors on and I always like to crimp the wires together and then add soldering on top and then insulation with solder on 
see it's not a big chunk of solder a bit bigger than obviously because of the crimping tool but now i'm just gonna add the heat shrink on top of that and here is it i've just attached a new wire there i even got yellow heat shrink how cool is that <laughs> right so we're just gonna tuck this nicely in without making too many bends gonna make it stretch a bit more in there and there and then we're gonna put it all back together and uh, we're gonna put our skull back and see how it goes and the repair is done you can see there it's all nice back into its place and final test i'm gonna do it again another resistance check from the alternator to the ecm connector and you can see there i've got 0 0.4 ohms and my multimeter has a um, my well my leads they have a um, fault uh, a false running for about 0 0.2 ohms so that's about 0 0.2 ohms so i'm very happy with that so now I, i'm confident to put it all back together and you can see there th these here are both signal one on top of each other there is absolutely no discrepancy so this is beautiful this is how it's supposed to look like and now let me put down a bit this one here you can see it there now you can see the actual two signals there now let's get inside the car let's start the engine and see if the light's gone off okay so back in the car now so let's put the ignition on let's start the engine let's see if it's gonna go out there we go the light is out so all we got left now to do is let's go on our diagnostic machine and let's see the fault if it's gone to history Right, so let's see read fault code so our fault code now has gone to history so let's erase this one let's make it nice and clean let's default again and we've got no more trouble codes right guys i'm uh, gonna finish my video here i hope found this video useful and uh and also if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. So, again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you on my next video.